techniques in an effort to make the WNBA Rookie of the Year our Minty Price's extended stay apartment a home away from home. As teammates and roommates on the road, our Minty and Stephanie share a special bond. But when it comes to packing for road trips, Stephanie is without a doubt the all-star of this rookie class. I just make sure I pack enough. I don't really want to check a bag. You know, it's a lot easier if you just carry a bag on. We bring two bags, one with our jersey and one with our regular clothes. The jersey you have to bring on the plane. I make sure I don't pack too much. Well, Stephanie always brings one bag. People say that, you know, that my one bag, you know, on, on road trips is because I'm so short. And she's like, what you pack? We only stay up for two days. And, you know, some people say that packing too much is better than packing too little. Our Minty is back just in time to try the muesli. Now that she has a power breakfast in her system, it's time to get cracking on a great project with Nadia. Hi, Armenty. This is my wonderful palace. Your palace for the time being while <laughs> right. you're with the sky. Right. And how long do you usually stay? Um, we stay here for about four months. Four months? Mm -hmm. So it's kind of like a home away from home. Right. So you're traveling a lot. Right. About three times a week. Well, I, I'm also a travel bug myself, mm -hmm. and I thought it would be a really great opportunity to talk about traveling, okay. and especially packing for traveling. The first thing that I like to do is to keep two different separate bags in my suitcase that I don't even have to worry about. Okay. So that I have things that stay at home or mm -hmm. in an away apartment like this one. So you're going to have two of everything. Okay. That way you don't even think about it. So you buy two cases, mm -hmm. and I like to buy two of everything. Have you ever um, had shampoo or lotions just mm -hmm. bust open right. in your suitcase? Yes, I, hate that. I like to do two things with that. Either use plastic wrap. Mm -hmm. I usually like to just do a little bit of saran wrap, and it just will keep any mess where it is. Or even simpler, you can even use a plastic baggie and put in some of the items that are going to spill everywhere into that and put them in there. And then you just keep them there. You don't ever, ever want to uh, unpack them, unless they're an essential. The other thing I like to do is keep a medical kit with me. And, you know, when you're traveling, and most people know, it's, it's kind of inconvenient to get to your hotel. Mm -hmm. And let's say you're just feeling like you're coming down with something. You know, I kind of cover all the bases, you know, everything from colds to, you know, antacids, anything that you need, anything for cuts, mm -hmm. nail file. I also like to bring a shoe shine. Oh. Gotta look your best. So what's, what's some of the things that you love about traveling? I just love being able to, to see the world. Um, a lot of people don't get that opportunity like I do is travel for free and then again get there and play a basketball game and enjoy hanging out with friends. It's kind of amazing, you know, if somebody was to do my job a day, I think they'll like it. But, you know, once they start working out, they might change their mind. <laughs> Well, you're probably very used to that. You've been playing basketball since how old? Uh, about since I was in eighth grade. Well, that's amazing. So, so what are some of the things that you don't like about traveling that maybe we can talk about in terms um, of I don't. I hate getting here, unpacking, then have to repack. I hate that. I actually wish I could have somebody here and call them, like pack the <laughs> shirt, you know, fold that shirt up. Well, I hope we helped you a little bit here. Thank you. Thank well, you we have some more work to do, so let's finish packing up for your next trip. Patrick and Stephanie are ready to secure the base of the surprise coffee table for Armandy. You know what these are? No. Both? Okay, yeah. Allison, <laughs> Allison let me use these. These are dessert dishes. Okay. They're stainless steel, and I thought they looked really cool. But we're going to use these to mount something. Okay? Okay. And we're going to put four of these on here. One, two, three, four. So I want you to drill a hole right through here. Okay, the next step is to fasten these in, okay? Okay. So we're going to take these dessert dishes and we're going to fasten them on here. We won't use them for dessert anymore, I promise, okay? They're going to be a base. The way we're going to make them stay on here is we're going to use these bolts with these washers. So we put one washer on, see that? Mm -hmm. It's going to go through and that washer will hold it from ripping right through the metal. It should be tight. Why don't you see if it's tight enough? See how sturdy? We got three more to do, so I'm gonna let you have the honors. Okay. You remember what order? Yeah. You better remember what order. Trust me, you're gonna want to remember I got it, I got it. everything you're learning. The muesli was a simple and delicious success. Now Allison's got something else for Anne and the girls: homemade power bars. We've got um, a lot of the same ingredients coming out. We've got the oats, the dried fruit, the nuts, gorgeous wheat germ. Yummy, good stuff. Now, do you know of anybody who makes their own energy bars? I don't, and, and they feel like it's a hassle. Uh -huh. uh, so I would love this little simple recipe that we're going to do here uh, and spread that to them. All right, you give me 15 minutes. We're going to have these in the oven. Perfect. Good. So if you just take them all out on the board like that yeah. and then roll through it. But yep. as you know, the nuts will bounce, so just go gentle. I am going to turn this pan on 
to about medium heat. And I'm going to start by um, toasting our starring ingredient, the uh, rolled oats. Okay. It's going to be in there on medium heat for about five minutes. So we want it until we can smell it. Okay. We just want a, the smell of a nice nutty smell is going to start coming up. Just giving it a little bit of a toast. Um, and this is puffed whole grains. You can get puffed rice, puffed wheat. This is a seven grain mix that I like. Um, so we're going to just put that in as well. All right. Nice work. All right, so while these guys are going, um, let's measure out some stuff. You want to measure, this is a quarter cup measure. Mm -hmm. um, a quarter cup is always four tablespoons. We need about three tablespoons of the oil. Mm -hmm. So if you want to just do it three quarters cup high. What kind of oil is this again? That's actually a vegetable oil. It's a sunflower oil. Okay. So we get some of those sunflower seed benefits again. Perfect. All right, now I'm going to use the oil first for two reasons. First of all, I want to coat, once we've got our toasted oats, okay. um, I want to coat them with oil. That gives them a little jacket against some of the wetter elements there, so it keeps them crunchy. Once I've got these coated, you can go ahead and throw in the honey. So is there anything that you're learning about pro athletes that we might be surprised by when it comes to eating? Or It's kind of strange, but they're pretty much like the general public whatever's fast and easy, um, especially in college because they're trying to juggle going to class, study table, so they have a lot to actually juggle. Um, so whatever's quick and easy will really be the target, which, you know, at being a, a mom, I have two dogs at home and a husband, <laughs> so I'm technically a mom to three kids. Um, I find that I, sometimes I'm looking for the easy route as well. How can we kill two birds with one stone? If, if we get people to cook more, Mm -hmm. And they're in the kitchen. Let's say they could use some cast iron skillets, do a little weight training here. Definitely. So you can get your weight training just around the house. Yes, you sure can. Um, you know, by lifting a jar, if you don't have weights or two liter bottles, you can you know, squat. Show me something. So Show me something. You, something. you Teach could me. do like a curl and press while you're balancing on one leg. So balancing on one leg helps with stability in the ankles, knees, and hips. Okay, so we all need balance, especially as we get older. And you want to curl and then press over your head which are daily activities that we do all the time. So I could sit here and stir this, and just the simple act of standing on one leg, yep. that's doing something for me. I am, I yep. am feeling it. I'm feeling it right here. I'm sort of feeling it in my tush mm -hmm. and my inner thigh. Mm -hmm. That's all helping to keep me stabilized. Correct. Just that simple thing. That simple thing. Coming up, the surprise coffee table comes to life.